Hey, look, the most important thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was the fact that the Minnesota Timberwolves is going to beat the Denver Nuggets in six games. Now, I know this sounds crazy, especially because I predicted the Denver Nuggets to go to the finals, but I was not predicting Anthony Edwards to go off the way he's been going lately. Like, can you blame me? I knew he was going to play good. I knew he was he has been playing good against the Phoenix Suns and all in the regular season. But damn it, I didn't know we was going to see a baby Michael Jordan out here. And outside of Anthony Edwards doing what he's been doing on the floor, I still think the Timberwolves are going to win this series in six based on the fact that they've been a top five defense all season long. They've allowed the least amount of points per game in the regular season. And a lot of that momentum has carried over into the postseason of the playoffs. Not only did we see them dominate the Phoenix Suns, they killed them guys, swept them, got them out of there in four, but also they got a lot of bench support on this Minnesota Timberwolves team. They can throw so many different adjustments, so many different lineups at the Denver Nuggets that's going to help them in a seven game series. Because one of the things I noticed that they did in game one and that they'll probably continue to do um, through the rest of this series is throw three different seven footers at Nikola Jokic, <laughs> which is insane. It's brilliant, but it's a tough thing for Nikola Jokic to go through because the Nuggets don't have another center they can put in the game outside of Nikola Jokic, which gives the Timberwolves an advantage. You got Rudy Gobert, Carl Anthony Towns, and Nas Reed all switching off on uh, on, on the most dominant player for the, uh, uh, for the Nuggets, which is Nikola Jokic. It's insane. They're going to work Nikola Jokic and pretty much force him to play all 48 minutes, which I'll touch on in just a second. But outside of the lineup changes that the Timberwolves have, you got to worry about what Anthony Edwards has been doing, man. This dude has been playing on the level that we have not seen in a very long time, bro. From a from a shooting guard in the NBA, we haven't seen a guy play like this in a long time in the playoffs. Anthony Edwards is the second player under age 23 since Kobe Bryant to score 40 plus points in back to back playoff games. He's a true difference maker on this team. And this is ultimately why I have the Minnesota Timberwolves winning this series in six games just because I don't think they're going to find a way to stop him or slow him down. And even if they do, say they find some magical piece there that slows Anthony Edwards down, you still got to count on the other guys not playing well because the supporting cast has been playing great for the Timberwolves. You still got to worry about Carl Anthony Towns, who, who can kill you from the inside and outside, being a huge threat on that team, which is why they can't really double team Anthony Edwards. So it's going to be a key piece. And ultimately for the Nuggets, it's going to come down to Nikola Jokic having to play big minutes this series. Like we're really going to have to see what he can do on the floor, how in shape he is. And um, it's going to be two options that the Denver Nuggets have if they want to win this series. So boiling that down, they can either play Nikola Jokic for 48 minutes and hope that he doesn't get tired, hope that he doesn't get lazy and, and get a little sloppy on the floor, or they can just really, really hone in and die down on doubling down on that supporting cast that they have on the Denver Nuggets. They got to count on Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, Kywell Pope, all of those guys to play excellent in these games if they want to win this series because that's the only way that the Denver Nuggets have a chance is if those guys step it up big time in this series. It will be a series for Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. to really show up and show out this season or this series, I should say, because usually you see the Denver Nuggets, they have an advantage in that center position going against other teams. Nikola Jokic typically has the mismatch where he can dominate um, other teams because their centers can't keep up with him. But when you got three guys coming at you, switching and rotating off of you with lanky defenders or lanky defenders guarding and watching for the pass, it's, it's, it's a recipe. It's a tough recipe to get through, man. It's a tough recipe to get through. So, you know, usually they got the advantage, but the Wolves, they're lanky. They're big and they're fast all around the floor on the defensive end. And then, man, they can score like crazy right now. That's a it, it's crazy to even think this, but it's an underestimated part of their game right now because they play so much great defense. It's it's almost insane to say their offense is underrated because people just look at Anthony Edwards. But really, Carl Anthony Towns is killing you. 
Gobert is cleaning up on the boards, getting a, a solid 12, 10 points. Jaden McDaniels is getting his eight points. And if he has a great game, he's getting 15, 19. Like, the, the numbers is there, man. And it, it's crazy. But, you know, hey, man, it, it, it's a good series so far. I've I seen game one happen. And, you know, I like what I've seen in game one. So, you know, I'm hoping it does continue to be a great series. Ultimately, Carol Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards, they got to be the main scorers for this offense to keep it rolling here. And I think the Wolves got a slightly better team just because they got the bench support and then they got three seven footers that they can rotate around the floor, man. So, you know, it is it is a good thing. Um, but I got a sound bite here from uh, NBA TV. This is Anthony Edwards after game one. I mean, I lost to these guys last year, you know, um, and they are the defending champs. They're a hard team to beat. Great team. They got great players. Um, they got the best player in the league with Nikola Jokic. Um, to me, they got the best closer with um, Jamal Murray. Um, the best three-point shooter with Michael Porter Jr. So it's tough to beat this team. It's not just my mentality. It's the team mentality. We come in and, and you know we, we know it's going to be a war. And um, you know we just we just play within the game and, and just stay within the game. They make runs. We know we got to make our runs and just fight, man. It's going to be a fight. 